Okay guys, so I wanted to show you one more thing really, really quick. Um, so one more time, we're coming to the sewing machine. Be nice to the sewing machine, talk nicely to it. That way you can make friends, make nice. Don't forget to turn the machine on by pushing the button on the right hand side, make sure the light is on. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna do some detail stitching within here really quick and I'm gonna show you how to turn this um, without worrying about taking it out. Okay, so uh, remember you have your two threads here. They're being pulled out nice and even. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a follow a zigzag here. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna follow this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fabric underneath the needle. Okay, I'm going to drop that lever that foot down to pinch my fabric. Okay, now remember forward, wrap backwards, forward. So I'm gonna start by going forward with you. Good, now let's back it up so you guys can see. Look at when I reverse. When I reverse, I'm gonna push that button and hold it down, reverse. Okay, now when I get to the end, I let go. And now I'm gonna go forward a few. Okay, that's it. That's, has, that's how easy it is to reverse. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. Okay, oops. Are you gonna focus there? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go to this corner and then I'm gonna stop. So I'm just gonna go straight, oops, five miles an hour. Now look, my needle is up here. I'm going to manually put it into the fabric I'm going to lift up my foot and I'm just gonna turn this going the opposite direction, put my foot back down and keep going. I'm gonna come all the way down to here. When I get to this corner, I'm gonna stop, leave the needle inside, lift up my foot, twist it back this way, put my presser foot back down and go. Don't forget to put that presser foot down. You will jam your machine and uh, you'll have to re-thread. Now, this is easy for me because I have a pattern to follow, but you guys can make up your own pattern. Um, it's easiest to do straight lines. Curvy lines are not so easy, um, but I would suggest trying to do something like this. Just makes it more fun. Okay, let's say I just want to end here. All right, what I'm going to do, uh, sorry guys. Okay, I have to make sure that my needle is up and out of the fabric, which it is. I also have to lift up that presser foot, lift it. Now I'm going to gently pull this, just pull it out. If it's not pulling or getting stuck, you have to wiggle the needle up and down and pull. And then also don't forget to cut that thread really far over here. There you go. Okay, you want this, you want this to be um, nice and long for the next person. I always give it a good tug. Uh, it's better to just have excess in this case um, than not enough. All right, so hopefully that clarifies some things for you and uh, don't be afraid to get on the machines. Have fun.